The High Road is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, the original Texas angler and outdoor television icon has hunted across America and around the world. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen, and uniting all hunters. That's Keith Warren. And this is The High Road. What makes this place so unique is its total private property. In North Campbell County, we have about 98% private property, meaning it's very hard to draw a license unless you either know somebody, an outfitter, or you own a ranch. Also what makes this area unique is the fact that it is a draw for deer and antelope, but it's guaranteed licenses even on a draw. So if you have any questions, you get a hold of me, Rick Casper, Raw High Creek Ranches, and I'll be happy to help you with a, through the process. Welcome to the wonderful state of Wyoming. We're up in the northeastern corner, and on today's show, if you're a bow hunter, you're gonna love it. This right here is made by Bowtech. It's a Striker Strike Zone 380. I've got it topped off with a BSA Majestic Variable Power Scope. You don't need to have a variable power scope on it, but I do, and it's awesome. Now, a lot of folks will wind up thinking a crossbow is capable of shooting 100 yards, and it is. It's just you'd never do something like that. It'd be kind of stupid if you wanted to hunt like that. And what a, what a crossbow is, the effective range of a crossbow is going to be about 35 to 40 yards, and the reason why it's less than a compound bow is because a crossbow, just by nature of the equipment, is louder than a compound bow, and the speed of sound travels than the, uh, faster than the arrow at it that distance, and so the animal ducks. And so as a, as a crossbow shooter, you have to take into account, if you're shooting out there at the max range, 30, 35, 40 yards, you better be prepared to shoot a little bit low because the animals typically will duck. And you want to shoot low so the animals duck and the arrow hits right in the boiler room. But this crossbow and other crossbows they're, they're so misunderstood. And, and what I mean by that, uh, Hollywood has done a real good job of doing a bad job for the truth about crossbows. And, and I listen to archers all the time, that the purest archer, uh, you know, they're, they're against crossbows. I think, come on guys, a crossbow is the ultimate recruitment tool. Uh, you can take somebody who has never shot a bow, who's, who physically isn't capable of shooting a bow, put a crossbow in their hands, and within minutes you can have them actually hitting the target. Isn't that what they're supposed to do? It gives them a, a instant gratification. They know they can do it. So now, let's talk about retainment. Uh, retainment means it's gonna retain people in hunting. What I mean by that, say you're an you're a able-bodied, good, strong guy or gal, and you break your shoulder and you're not able to draw a bow anymore. <laughs> crossbow is a perfect deal. Uh, if you get old and you're unable to draw a crossbow anymore, it's the perfect deal. So it's the perfect recruitment retainment device. And uh, anybody who has never shot a crossbow, just pick one up and shoot it. I think that the, the, uh, the advances in crossbow manufacturing and technology is so advanced today that you just can't believe how well they shoot. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Gamma Precision Air Rifles, Glock, Oil Field Camo, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, Beyond 99%, and Heartcraft Hunting Products. Watch the High Road in HD at KeithWarren.net.
Hi, I'm Eric Price from Yates City, Illinois with the Burt Coyote Company, maker of the Luminoc. Driving in, we saw a lot of cattle, we saw a lot of antelope and deer on the road. This is a remote location. This is the true west. This is my first chance to hunt antelope in Wyoming and my first hunt ever with a crossbow. I'm really looking forward to taking my first animal with one of my Luminero bolts. We got out here in Wyoming and noticed that it was very, very dry. Talking to people, it's been dry for some time. They had a terrible winter kill two years ago, and the numbers of antelope just aren't where they once were. It's gonna be a tough hunt, but I think if we hunt water, we can get the job done. This is gonna be my first antelope hunt, and I, I really can't wait to get out there and get it done. I've done a lot of testing with crossbows over the years, but this is my first opportunity to actually take an animal with one. I'm excited to be shooting the Stryker 380. It's, it's a small compact bow and it shoots fast and flat. That's going to be useful in this terrain. Waiting for an antelope to come in. It's hot, it's dry. I'm afraid if little Mr. Buck shows up today, he might get whacked. I can't shoot a crossbow in every state, but in Wyoming, they've been very liberal in, in allowing the use of crossbows. And it's great for the young and the old and the people that have disabilities. It helps them get out here in the wild, and this is some beautiful country. We weren't planning on that antelope coming to that spot. <clears throat> and I had to squeeze one through an opening about that big. And uh, as luck would have it, I was able to get it done. This bow is small and light and very easy to maneuver in tight places. It, uh, I'm impressed, I'm really impressed. And I, uh, I put it right where it needed to be right where it needed to be. That's exciting. Second day here with Keith Warner and the High Road, Rawhide Outfitters, and I just took my first antelope with a crossbow. I could see my arrow. It shot clean through that antelope. It's sticking right in the bank, just beyond where he was standing. This is my first antelope. I've taken it with a crossbow here in Wyoming, and uh, it's, a, it's a good animal. It's an exciting hunt. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain. It's, it's much different than most of the hunting I've done. It's, uh, it's hours of boredom, interrupted by uh, a great deal of excitement in very short periods of time. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconnix Game Cameras, Savage Arms, Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, the best value in Texas trophy deer hunting, Grizzly Cartridge Company, and Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver.
I can't begin to tell you how many antelope I've killed within several miles of this blind. But today we got a problem. It seems like the winter kill and the severe drought that we're under has really done a number on the antelope. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if we're going to see anything or not, but we're going to give her a whirl. Well, that right there, my friends, was about the shortest antelope hunt I've ever had up here. All right, here we go. A nice Wyoming pronghorn. You know, the country out here has been uh, experiencing a severe drought this year. Ha had a, a real bad winter kill a uh, year before last. So the animals up here, they, it's put hurting on them and the, the numbers of tags that are issued have really been reduced substantially. So uh, don't come up here expecting to see antelope like you would have say eight years ago because it's just not gonna happen. But this is a really nice buck considering uh, I barely got seated in the blind. He came in, he put on a really nice show rubbing his scent glands right here, rubbing the scent glands on the sagebrush and peeing for us and doing a, doing a really good job of showing, showing off. So, and you're not gonna believe this, but I'm gonna sit still here and you're not gonna believe what's gonna walk behind me. Um, this is absolutely incredible. Let me sit right still. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see. I've never seen this in my life. That's unbelievable. I don't know if you can see there or not, but there's an antelope buck came right in over my shoulder, right there running off. But uh, that kind of blows my mind. I don't know if they got that on video or not. I hope so. But anyway, this is a nice antelope. I'm thrilled to death to have taken him. I uh, kind of had some mishaps with the crossbow, but all, all in all, I'm pretty tickled with him. We had a pretty productive morning. Uh, I wound up shot a nice antelope buck, and it turns out Eric shot his first antelope ever too. So we've had a really good day. You know, yesterday was tough, but uh, I did wind up sitting in this blind last night and got video of a lot of real close white tails. There were all does and fawns. Saw some mule deer, saw a lot of turkeys, but no bucks, but I'm pretty doggone confident this is a good spot. We've got a good food source. The wind is right again tonight. And we're gonna sit up here, and I'll tell you what, if one comes within range, I'll put an air on them just quick as can be. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Striker Crossbows, Half Power Polaris, Burt Coyotes, Luminoc and Luminaris, Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting blind, elevators, your easy way up, 
supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center. Beyond 99%. And BSA Optics. Off Power Polaris presents Viewer Feedback. Keith, you may remember my email from over 10 years ago where I was bashing you for supporting legalization of crossbows. Well, now I'm too old and broke up to draw my compound, and I'm so grateful that guys like you fought for opening up crossbows for everyone. I'm sorry for the previous bashing and appreciate you more than you know. I'm now on the high road. Keep up the good fight. We need more guys like you. Your friend from North Texas, Will Banks. Will, I don't remember your email. I've gotten so many emails through the years bashing me for my support of crossbows that it's crazy. But guys like you and women out there are waking up and realizing that crossbows aren't some evil device that's going to destroy hunting. Crossbows are a device that's going to get more people hunting, and the people that are hunting are going to hunt longer. So, Will, thank you very much for manning up to it and saying, hey, you, you apologize for the bashing, but uh, trust me, i got thick skin, and uh, but I'm not going to stop supporting crossbows. Will, thanks for the email. If you have any questions or comments about the program, you can shoot me an email right off of my website at keithwarren.net. And I'd also like to ask you to become a fan on Facebook. And if you've ever thought about purchasing a Polaris, give my friends over at Hoff Power Polaris a call and you'll find out how come Hoff Power Polaris is one of the top Polaris dealers in the country. You know, about 80% of all game is taken just about at the end of shooting light. With Luminoc, it made a whole new game plan. And Keith's in the barn right now, spraying himself down because he's a nut about smell. And he doesn't need to worry about it with the antelope, but he definitely needs to worry about it with the whitetail. Now Keith's got a deer tag. He can hunt either a mule deer or a whitetail. I got a little secret spot for a whitetail for him. We'll see how he does. I don't know if you viewers know it or not, but Keith Warren is one of the luckiest guys there is. This year he goes, Rick, I got a deer and antelope license in Wyoming. Can we do it the same day? He did it. Unbelievable. On film, an antelope buck, whitetail buck, unbelievable. Wyoming game ranch, Rawhide Creek Outfitters. And let me tell you something. Kind of hard to beat when you take an antelope buck in the morning and a white tail buck in the evening and do it with a crossbow. All right, here's what he looks like. Uh, to the best of my guesstimation, I think he's a three year old and he's probably uh, about a 180 pounder, but uh, he's got eight nice points, nice Wyoming white tail. And you know, the thing is, up here in Wyoming, Whitetails are becoming more and more commonplace. It didn't used to be that way, but uh, 
whitetails in many areas are now overpopulating the mule deer in the area that Rick has, uh, that's the case. And so the, the deal is there's so many whitetail that you can actually, if you're say mule deer hunting, uh, you want to take a second buck, you can just buy a whitetail tag. So that's pretty cool too for one. But uh, you know, today we had a great day. We wound up, uh, yesterday was kind of slow, but today we made up for it. Three bucks down, all with the striker crossbow. All great video, and uh, that's just par for the course when you come up here. Uh, this part of Wyoming is just game rich, and like I said earlier, it's had a problem with the winter kill and the severe drought this summer. But the whitetail are doing really, really well, and uh, there still is a good population of antelope and mule deer. It's just uh, we're up here for a short period of time, and you know I think we did pretty good for today. I'd like to thank y'all for watching, and encourage you each and every day. Do your best to take the high road. Look at that. That's a nice buck right there.